Hello and welcome to today's broadcast. I pray that the Lord who has brought you here will grant you all that your heart desires in Jesus' name. So today we're going to be praying for a godly husband. And I'm going to be joining my faith with your faith, trusting the Lord and knowing that he answers us. The Bible says that we should ask that we will receive, we should seek, that we would find, we should knock and the door will be open unto us. We're asking the Lord for his perfect will and a godly husband. So let us pray. Father, I thank you for my sisters. I thank you because the desire to have a man that is just like you, a man who would love them, who would care for them, who would Love them as Christ loves the church. Heavenly Father, I ask that you will grant them their desires. Their desire to have a man who lives for you. Their desire to have a man who works for you. A man who trusts and relies on you. Lord God, I ask that that desire is granted in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because that man finds them. A man that is filled with the Holy Ghost and has a personal walk with you, O God. Father, that they will not be drawn in by any form of deception, not the deception of their emotions, not the deception of their finances, not the deception of the age, O oh God, that they will not be drawn to what their physical senses see, but they will be drawn to what their spirit is saying. Father, I ask that you would give unto them a man that loves them as Christ loves the church, a man who is able to sacrifice just as Christ was able to, a man who has a deep and intimate relationship with you. Lord God, I ask that you will cause my sisters to know you better, to also become godly wives on their own, so as to be able to attract a godly husband. Father, I break every soul tie. I break every past relationships that is hindering them from moving forward. Lord, I break every power of delay over their lives, every shame and reproach over their lives. I come against every work of darkness to keep them in bondage. Every bondage of evil, they are removed from it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for my sisters that they find a man that loves you, a man that cares about your heart, O oh Lord, a man that submits to you and to you alone. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that you would also make them wives who can submit unto godly husband, help them deal with the weaknesses of their flesh, and also be submitted to the Holy Spirit. Give them the ability to remain strengthened in you, to be strengthened in you at all times, in the name of Jesus. Father, fill them with your Holy Spirit once again. Father, help them to know that you are on the inside of them and they are able and even more than able to see their lives transformed. Give them the ability to trust you and you alone in every situation in their life, oh God. Help them not to rely on their past errors or past mistakes to make all relationship decisions in the name of Jesus. Lord, I begin to break everything that is not of you, every hold that your past has on them. Father, the past is in the past. And in you, Jesus, there is no past. There is only a future with you and a present. Lord, I ask that you will walk and you would heal them, O oh Lord. Heal them from every hurt that might hinder them from, from recognizing a godly husband when they see him in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you grant my sisters patience. You will grant them patience, O oh Lord. The ability to wait patiently. The ability to wait serving. The ability to wait trusting. The ability to wait praising. Not grudgingly. Not with pain. And not with any form of regret. 
Father, you have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly, that they would enjoy their life abundantly as you work out their answers in the name of Jesus. Father, help them to seek your kingdom first. Help my sisters to seek your kingdom first. Because as they seek your kingdom, they meet husbands who also seek your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Father, help them that they will be ready for healthy relationships, oh God. That you will bring men who are ready for healthy and Christian relationships their way in the name of Jesus. Father, the deception is over. The reign of deception is over. The reign of deception is over. In the name of Jesus, they will not be deceived, not by themselves, not by their families, not by economy or by the new age, oh God. Rather, they will be plugged into your spirit and they will be discerning, oh God, that they will know what to do in the name of Jesus. Father, that you will deliver them from wicked and ungodly men. Deliver my sisters from wicked and ungodly men who are time wasters, oh God. Deliver them from any time waster who just wants to spend time in their lives and does not have any good plan for their life. Father, is any of them in a relationship that is leading nowhere, in a relationship that is going to lead them leave them heartbroken, O oh God. Father, I pray that those relationships end today. Those relationships are severed today. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, they would meet men who are healthy, healed, and whole. Men will hunger and thirst for you, even as they hunger and tell thirst for you. Grant them the ability to be selfless, to also love unconditionally in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for my sisters that they are not stopped by anything anymore. Godly husbands come their way and when they come their way, they recognize them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you have answered us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because our lives are forever changed. Their lives are forever changed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, for answering our prayers. Thank you because they are healed, they are whole, and they have godly courtships. In the name of Jesus. To you be all the glory, Father. For in Jesus, mighty and victorious name, name have we prayed. Amen.